Hi, I'm Jerry Cooper, and uh, it's an honour to be here to take part in the Around the World in 80 Plays project. I'm originally from Newcastle upon Tyne, although I've lived in West Yorkshire now for many years, and I first discovered Bert through the folk club Grapevine in Newcastle and the North East in the mid 1960s, probably around 1964. And in 1965, his first album was the first LP I ever bought. And here it is. I still have it. It's unplayable now, of course, because I played it so many times, dropping the needle, lifting the needle to try and figure out what he was doing. But I have it on CD and cassette. And I still listen to it an awful lot. I was absolutely blown away by it when I first heard it, and I just wanted to be able to play like that. I'd been playing the guitar for about two years then, and uh, it was the first big impetus to improve as a guitarist rather than just strumming accompaniments. And a couple of years after the LP came this rather rudimentary songbook, but it had chords in that uh, did actually give some help in playing some of the simpler songs like Dreams of Love and Running From Home and so I toiled away through it and learned to play in a rudimentary fashion some of them. I followed Bert's music all the way through, through Pentangle and his solo work in the 70s and 80s. Saw him a few times at folk clubs and with Pentangle and uh, the last time I saw him was at a gig in Liverpool. Oh, it must be must have been not long before he died. And it was a great night and I took my son with me and he was he was knocked out by Bert and he just thought he was absolutely incredible player, great writer. And we had a lovely time together. And as I say, it wasn't long before Bert passed. So it's an honour to be involved in this project and to have this lovely Yamaha guitar. I know Bert played Yamahas for the latter part of his career and for many years I had, I still have, uh, a Yamaha FG410 which, uh, which I bought in the mid-1980s and it's still a lovely guitar. I think the Bert Jansch Foundation is doing a great service to younger people to introduce them to Bert's music and to encourage them to play real proper music with their hands and their voice instead of machines. So, uh, it's, as I say, it's been a great honour to be involved in it. And the piece I'm going to play is called Righteous Train. And it's played in drop D tuning. And Bert was the first person I ever saw or heard who used drop D tuning. And it opened up my eyes to where you could play the guitar with a, a constant running bass and be up the dusty end doing twiddly bits at the same time. So it was a bit of a revelation when, uh, when I found out about that. Uh, it's, a, as I say, a song of my own composition. It does have lyrics, but they're not complete yet, so I'm just playing it as a, an instrumental piece. So I hope you enjoy it, and thanks very much for uh, listening, and thanks to the Foundation for inviting me to take part in this project. <laughs>